Welcome to today's episode of Philanthropy. Today we have a special topic, African American inventors and directors in Hollywood. We're here to educate our listeners about the many contributions that Black Americans have made to the world of cinematography. Our main host for this episode is yours truly, Aaron, and I'm joined by two other guests in reacting to and discussing these topics. Jackie and Rachel. All right, let's get started. So, African Americans have been pioneers in helping shape the way movies are seen today. From Garrett Morgan creating the traffic signal to Haiti McDaniel becoming the very first African American major movie star, uh, they have helped shape this industry since its inception. That's right. And what about directors? Who are some great African American directors in Hollywood? We can start talking about Oscar Michaud, uh, Ava DuVernay, Tyler Perry, uh, and Spike Lee, just to name a few. Uh, Oscar is widely recognized as the first African-American filmmaker to produce like a feature-length film, The Homesteader, in 1919. I don't think any of us have seen that movie, but he went on to produce over 40 films, founded um, the Michelle Film and Book Company, which distributed his films and books, and later started the National Negro Publishers Association to support African-American authors. You now, he was very vocal, uh, a vocal advocate for civil rights, his films and books often dealt with issues of race and identity. Ava DuVernay is an American filmmaker and producer best known for a 2014 feature film, Selma, which was nominated for Best Picture and ended up winning Best Original Song. I've personally watched this movie and can really say that it's quite a masterpiece. Tyler Perry, which most of us know, is an actor. He's a writer, a producer, and a director best known for his Medea series, as well as shows such as House of Pain and Meet the Browns. But most notably, he's the first African-American to own a major film and TV studio with the opening of Tyler Perry Studios in 2019. His directing style is also quite unique uh, since he chooses to promote positive messages and values, specifically values like family, faith, and perseverance that uplifts all who watch his work. These filmmakers have all had an impact on modern cinema thanks to their creative vision and storytelling ability. They also have had another significance. They, they brought visibility to stories from underrepresented communities that wouldn't otherwise be heard or seen. We wouldn't have films like Black Panther without these filmmakers paving the way for studios to believe that these stories can succeed commercially. Absolutely. So when it comes down to it, how has Hollywood changed regarding representation since then? How would you quantitatively say it has improved since then? Well, when looking at the numbers alone, there's evidence that more African-American actors, writers, and directors are being hired than ever before. However, although they are making strides towards representation, it's not nearly enough yet. Especially considering last year, only 4% of the top grossing films featured casts that were equally represented across gender lines, you know, according to USC Anberg's second annual inclusion report, which, you know, isn't even close enough yet. Wow, that's an interesting point. It goes without saying that there's still much progress left to make in this regard, but as always, I'm so appreciative for all of your insight into this issue regarding representation within Hollywood today. Yeah, thank you for that, Jackie. Uh, so as we continue our conversation, let's talk about Black filmmakers who have had lasting impact throughout Hollywood. Our first discussion point is on Sidney Poitier, who was one of the first African-American actors to be nominated for an Oscar. He was a groundbreaking star since he was one of the very first few black actors in mainstream leading roles during this era. His success helped open up like great opportunities for other African Americans that followed, and he's had a lasting influence on how minorities were portrayed in films. Not only did he become one of Hollywood's biggest stars, he also directed several movies and wrote more than a dozen books as well. Absolutely incredible. And what about Melvin Van Pebbles? Van Pebbles is considered the father of modern black cinema. He wrote, produced, and directed and starred in 1971's Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song, which is thought to have kickstarted the black exploitation film genre. This consisted mainly of black characters presented as heroes, taking down white villains. Some funny stuff for sure. He, uh, he was also very notable for becoming one of the first African Americans to own copyright over their works as well and received praise for writing great stories that felt both personal and universal all at once. Wow, how inspiring. What are some other notable African-American directors? 
Well, there's a lot. There's Julie Dash, who achieved notoriety with her 1991 film, Daughters of the Dust, making her the first African-American woman to release its feature-length film theatrically in America. She also became the first black woman director with a film shown before an audience internationally. And we can't forget about Mark Hanna, who directed 1995's Once Upon a Time, When We Were Colored, which earned him two NAACP awards, or even James E. West, who became the first black director to helm an educational series after joining PBS stations uh, back in 1978. Incredible achievements indeed. Even though they haven't been frequently discussed, there has been many significant people whose innovations eventually made it into motion pictures too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Louis Latimer invented the carbon filament used in light bulbs, which inspired Thomas Edison's development. And even Madam C.J. Walker, uh, she invented beauty products specifically designed for black women that combated racial hate experiences with makeup products at the time. Hollywood had and still has a powerful influence over beauty standards. Makeup that was portrayed on screen had an influence on what types of people would have access to what type of makeup. So when it came to African Americans, there was little to no representation in this area. So if any makeup was released to the general public, it was deemed as being quote unquote exotic. In addition, much of the early Hollywood portrayal of black women was in the form of blackface or with portrayals of red lipstick as in a quote unquote exotic beauty. So, you know, this shows just how mistreated young black women were during this period of time. And Madam C.J. Walker really had a profound impact in this area. So, Aaron, moving forward, do you believe these individuals continue to have lasting impacts even in today's world? Certainly so, yeah. Their contributions laid down a strong foundation uh, that future generations can build up on. And thankfully today, we're continuing to see progress being made like never before with more representation from diverse backgrounds throughout media, starting from television programs, all the way through movie productions too. It'll take much effort still, but I'm very happy that modern directors such as Jordan Peele, Ryan Coogler, are elevating modern cinema in ways that we can only dream of just a few decades ago.